Hi guys, uh, one um, little thing that you need to check just before um, you're doing all these things is uh, you need to do a detection test on the LCD just to make sure that the LCD is working because there has been uh, from uh, Anycubic saying that um, sometimes the LCDs um, it's, it's the most sensitive part and it can get broken so we're going to just going to run a test now i always say you're doing this course but you should still look for all the photo uh, the photon uh, any cubic photon manuals and make sure you're following along with what they're doing it's just if you get stuck then this these videos are going to really help you so i want to just run that test now this is quite a quick little lecture before we move in back into the slicing software um, so we're just going to run a little bit of a test here so i'm going to go to tools and i'm going to go to detection and what we're basically looking for here is just to run some tests so um, we can put it on this one here and we can hit next and what we should get here is your lcd should be lighting up evenly over the whole of the lcd so once you've done that you can move back and we can do another detection test on the full area so we can click this little button here uh, by the way I don't know if you guys can see that I need to move it down a bit so let me just go back to the beginning and show you with it uh, it's better you can see that clearer okay so you've got to remember hit the tools detection and in here we have got to select this one here and we're gonna hit next and it will just charge it up and the whole screen should be a nice blue like that and that's good that's working so let's go back one let's do, do another detection on the outside area and just run this off so that's nicely detecting there I'm going to run it back detection and I'm going to do the central area uh, just that central area there which looks good so just make sure your LCDs are nice and clean okay once you've done that that should all be sorted so everything else is set so I can now put my FEP back in to the machine and slide it in so I'm just lifting that edge I'm bringing it against this edge and then I'm pushing it in very carefully I'm pushing to the back tighten this screw up uh, would help if I went the right way just so it's finger tight what's called finger tight and push that one notice I'm pushing with this thumb to make sure it stays against the back plate that's nice and finger tight now I push against this one again do it a bit tighter be careful you don't knock the build plate and then finally that one's tight and we're finished so that's just detecting and making sure that your um, LCD screen is working as it should okay I can turn this off now and we can move on to the slicing software